I think anyone interested in buying one of these machines has some like magical expectations of this crazy amount of power that uh, has been kind of hyped up over the last few weeks since the launch of these new computers. And in some cases, they're not wrong. And for the people who have already purchased these new computers, who maybe you already have it, or maybe it's just still in shipment, you, you might want validation that it actually fills all your wildest hopes and dreams, myself included. And it has been amazing so far, but let's go a little bit further. Today, I wanna to put mine through a stress test of contact because everyone out there who uses virtual instruments um, probably at some point has used contact or regularly uses contact or contact is the main housing for your virtual instruments. So I wanna put mine through the test and see how it handles it, if there's any latency involved. I know I've had some issues on my last computer with just overloading the CPU with one track opened when I was like trying to do a screen recording one time. So let's try it. So right off the bat, you'll get these pop-ups because um, Contact is still not running natively on M1. It's, it's still running on Intel. All right, so I have one instance of Contact open right now with Substance by Output. If you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of Output. This is fine. This is clean enough to know that there's no clipping going on or any, you can hear like the stutters in the CPU, I guess. So I didn't, I, I didn't know this, but if you're looking up at the top here, your CPU goes up whenever you're actually running MIDI into something, right? Like when things start playing, it'll always jump a little bit when you're actually playing along to something. And I have a little keyboard here. And here I set my audio settings to the highest on there and my buffer range is large. In our last test, we got up to 242 tracks. So I'm gonna see if this time we can do the same with running contact because I don't wanna spend the time trying to push more. It's just, it's taking a substantial amount longer to duplicate instances of contact in a session. All right, we've got 242 tracks. Right now it's hovering, oh, it's going up actually. Total CPU usage. Uh, memory is using about 40 gigs. So noticeably logic is a lot slower. It's a lot slower with this many. I mean, who would have this many tracks open in the first place? But either way. All right, ready to play? And one, two, three. Okay, it took a minute to actually get it to start playing, but it's playing. Um, there's no crackling. It seems like every instance of contact is still just using about 5%. Up here, it doesn't look like it's taking much power, uh, but down here, it's just the conversion that's running to be able to actually run contact in logic. As far as memory, we're hovering like 40 gigabytes. I have 64 on this computer, so that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it, uh, logic isn't that taxed, really. Um, it's just this thing, the hosting compatibility. There you go. I can try loading in a different, let's try their 25 year anniversary thing and see how that runs. Okay. We had an overload finally. <laughs> um, everything is maxed out with the buffer size. Let me try a different base and see if that changes anything. Okay, that's playing. Um, there's distortion in the bass, so it's not like clipping based on things being taxed too much. So it runs 242 tracks of contact, depending on like whatever it is you're running within contact, it works. And eventually it will be a little bit more optimized for M1. Maybe it'll actually be able to run a lot more tracks than that, who knows? But either way, it's it can do it. And the microphone is literally right next to the computer right now. So 242 tracks later, that are supposed to run 5% CPU per each track. They're all armed and unmuted. It's playing and there's no fans going. So if you have any questions about it, leave a comment below, hit the subscribe button. Let's go make some music.